So hi everybody, this is Heidi Brom and Joe Maldonado from Griffin's Claw, the School of Practical Magic. I am so excited. This is yet another chapter in, in our quest. Um, it's actually not a quest, but you know, <laughs> in our path for manifesting. So um, last week I talked a little bit about how I'm going to be teaching manifesting this weekend, which is um, two parts. It's working from the structure structural and learned part and then also working from um, the emotional part. Now Heidi does it a little bit differently. So um, Heidi, uh, we have something in here called creative vis visualization and on Heidi's class that she's going to be teaching, she's going to be talking and doing actually um, more altered state with with those that are attending the class. So um, mine, I'm, I don't plan on going into it that much. It's mine is a different process to manifest what I, what I get and Heidi's is different. So Heidi, hypnotherapist <laughs> Heidi Brom, um, can you tell us please what is creative visualization? So it, it basically is exactly what it sounds like it is. If you're visualizing something in the in the very creative way so when you get creative you use all of your senses right so you're really getting into the feeling you're using i mean yes you're using your brain but you're also using your heart your body all of your all the emotions every anything that you can draw on and bring in to make it as much of a creative experience as you could possibly make it so um, going a little bit st st uh, forward in that, I have a, the next question is what are states of consciousness? And if I can interrupt this question and just pose it, if anybody has a comment that would like to make or, um, you know, or a question you'd like to ask, you can you can do that now while we're just chatting away. Um, I have my beverage of choice, which today is green tea. Um, <laughs> pull up your beverage and your chair. And this is just a conversation with us so that, um, you know, we can just feel more relaxed in doing that. So um, back to the question is what are states of consciousness? Well, <clears throat> you can look at that. You can answer that question in a couple of different ways. I think we can talk about, well, right now, most of us probably are in what we would call an ordinary or normal state of consciousness, right? Uh, I am because I'm listening to you and I'm, I'm paying attention to your questions and hopefully I'm answering them. And everyone who's watching or listening now is listening and using their, you know, their, their present normal, got to make it through the day consciousness, right? We haven't drifted off. We're not daydreaming. So that would be another state of consciousness, a more relaxed state of consciousness. Another example of that would be maybe you tend to go very deep when you meditate. That's another state of consciousness, right? We Then we enter into all these different states of consciousness. When we dream, we can enter into different states of consciousness in extreme circumstances. So all of those different states of consciousness are um, things that you can experience that are not this normal state of consciousness. So what would an extreme state of consciousness be, for example? Well, like if you're, uh, if you're having an emergency of some sort, I don't want to use the word trauma, but let's just say you're having an emergency and, um, you know, an, a, a very dramatic situation, okay. you're going to be clicked into some gear that is going to propel you to maybe act in a heroic way or to do something that you would not normally even think to do much less be able to do or you can maybe what's called for in that moment is to completely dissociate so that you don't right. experience right so that you yeah. and that's another right that's another way of being that's another state of consciousness yeah 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 so, and, and, you know, disassociate is, a, you know, what, what triggers in my mind is I know with animals, when they are in extreme pain or they are in a highly, um, you know, challenging situation, they kind of go out of body, which right. you know, sure. in, in the animal world, we say out of body, but this, this would be what you're talking about, basically. It is. And I would, you know, I would just like to add, that's not a bad thing. That's a survival mechanism, right? Yeah. So yeah. for anybody who uh, has a tendency to dissociate in certain circumstances, 
that is a sort of a holdover from childhood where you had to possibly do that to survive. So be thankful for that ability to do that. Got it. Got it. So in manifesting, um, okay. So you, you which which one of these? Um, is it meditation that you go into? Is it the the you know notes that you make to yourself before you hit the dreamlike state? You know, like to manifest something with creative visualization. What state do you have to be in? Well, you don't you don't have to be in any kind of state. It's okay. more helpful to be in a more relaxed state, okay. right? You're gonna find the whole process to mm -hmm. be uh, much easier, um, but you've gotta be able to get yourself into that state. So if, I, if we wanna compare it to some other state, yes, maybe it borders on that hypnagogic state that you enter right before you go to sleep, right? Where you start right. seeing right. visions, and images and you feel a little bit floaty and everything's yeah. you know and there's these random pictures that are just kind of coming in we don't want that in creative visualization but we like that feeling of oh it's all relaxed and drifty and floaty yeah. and nice right that state where your conscious mind pretty much is out to lunch at this point right right so like i, I i'm just thinking of um like hypnosis for example you, you know for myself like if if you have had a physically challenging or traumatic experience and you go through a state of hypnosis so that is is that would you say that is kind of manifestation also because you want to manifest getting into better health or better state of mind i mean is, is hypnosis therefore creative visual well, yeah it can be um yeah, I mean, in the way that I do it, in a way that some other people do it, yes, because you're engaging more than just your mental activity, right? People will say, oh, you know, the definition of hypnosis is we bypass your conscious mind and change the all the programming, which right. is in your subconscious mind. Right. And that's all, you know, that's all fabulous, but it works even better in some cases if you compare it with some neurolinguistic programming and get some emotion, some feeling, some somatic response into the whole process. Right. So I have, I have we chatted a little bit before we went on. You have actually done creative visualization. And you right. said that it works for you pretty much spot on, correct? Right. When you, 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 it, you have to do the process. Okay. Right? If you do the process, it will work. Okay. So the process is something that you're going to teach us in your class. Like, to yes, this, we'll go over that. Okay. Uh, we'll go over that. So for anybody who's on this call and who's coming to the class, um, next, not this coming Saturday, but next Saturday, right. have in your mind, get already put together an idea of what you would like to bring into your physical 3D reality. Got it. Got it. So be thinking it, about that. So I'm, when you said that, I'm, I'm, I'm picturing, you know, like the big 3D goggles and standing there. And, and it's like kind of like that's kind of what creative visualization is, except you don't have the goggles on and you're like. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you still have you're still having you're still having thoughts about it, right? Because uh -huh. you you're you you're also having the engaging that part of your brain. So yes, right. you're having thoughts about it. You're having feelings about it. Right. So, so you said it changes your thought process. So how does it how does it change your thoughts? You it you it doesn't change your thoughts. You have to change your own thoughts. Okay. okay. So you will you guide people to the process. Yes. And then we change our thoughts. Right. It's like people ask me, you know, if if they want to have a stop smoking hypnosis session, do right. I 100% guarantee my results? Well, no, because you st everybody still has free will. Right. And I'm not walking around behind that person smacking a cigarette out of their hand every time right. they're right. going to have a cigarette. Right. 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 So at some point it's up to the person so at the end of the day with this creative visualization it is up to you and how disciplined you are in managing your thoughts right. because you will find you you could find that intrusive thoughts creep in right and the yes. next thing you know you're six thousand miles down the road where and you don't even know how you got there right? yes so it is up to you to manage your thoughts Wow. And sometimes those thoughts come in so automatically. Um, right. I'm not even realizing, you know, right. 
management. You know, like, right. well, how do I manage them? Yeah. Right. You just notice and then reel yourself back in. Right. Oh, I see. I, okay. That's fine. And just bring yourself back to, you know, don't make a big deal about it and just right. bring yourself back to where you really wanted to be in the first place. So let me ask you, you've done this. So tell, tell us a little bit about what kind of things have you manifested through creative visualization? So every, um, every car that I've ever had <laughs> is pretty much been that process. Right? And you've had nice cars, I must say. <laughs> yeah. And <I> so, <laughs> right. The, it's been like, oh, I would really like to have that. And, you know, it's, and it's in, I'm not, you know, I'm not being militant about it. I just every now and again think, well, it'd really be nice to have that. And, you know, you get that little, ah, yeah. that nice, you yes. know, those, that feeling of goodness and that feeling of excitement. And then, you know, a few days pass by and look, there's the car, you know, there it is yep. sitting in some car lot somewhere. Well, what do you know? And you go take a look at it and it's exactly what you want. I mean, this pretty much happened with every car that I've ever had so far. And that was using creative visualization. Right. I mean, it doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be a big, you know, to do. You don't have, it doesn't have to, it's not a big yeah. thing. Yeah. It's a thing, but it doesn't, it's not a big dramatic thing. Right. And I, I, I find that um, with both of us, you know, teaching manifesting and just being really good at manifesting stuff that I, I find personally, the more you think about, oh, did I do A, B, C, D, and E? Oh my gosh, I forgot E. You know, it's like, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> right, right. Right, right. right. So I, I find <laughs> that going inward into the emotional part and to, it's like you said, that tiny little feeling that goes, right. oh, you know, it's like, you know, when my dog comes up in the morning and is happy to see me, and it's like, Oh, hi. Happy yeah, to see. Right. It's, it's like that moment of joy, you know. Exactly. It's a little moment of joy. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, in my opinion, my interpretation of this whole life experience and everything that we're going through, once you have the idea that, gee, I would really like to have X, that the creating part is done. X is out there somewhere. Yeah. All you have to do now is bring it to you. It's already there. If if it, if it wasn't meant for you and you were not meant to have it, you would not have had the idea to have ah, whatever it is. You That's, wouldn't even, right? It wouldn't even have occurred to you. Very interesting that you would not have had, a, you know, I was just, um, you know, doing like research and reading some books about the class that I'm, I'm, I'm teaching um, on Saturday about manifesting. And, you know, it's like, well, if it doesn't happen, you know, the answer to the majority of those books was then something better is going to happen, you know, oh, you know, so, so, it, but I, I kind of like what you're saying too, you know, so it's, it's a, it's a pretty interesting and very unique way of doing things. But do you find that, I mean, did you just like say, this is something I've been doing all my life. I just didn't have a name on it. Or did you actually pursue this and studying this and knowing more about it? Because it was kind of has it's been a thing that I've I've sort of been doing and I guess I didn't know I was doing it right yeah and then the more I started paying attention to and learning about actually conscious creation and manifestation mm -hmm. and what's actually going on you know in every second of every second of every day we are manifesting yeah we are we think oh well i'm gonna you know i'm gonna sit down on saturday and i'm gonna manifest some stuff right <laughs> yeah well, right you know, <laughs> i'm manifesting <laughs> you know i'm manifesting stuff right now just yeah. look at your life your life is an out picturing of all of your thoughts and all of your beliefs yeah. and all of your emotions right yeah yeah absolutely uh, if you put a little bit of discipline behind it you can kind of you know then take the reins of the horse and manage the direction a little bit better yeah. So I'm going to pose this question, which is I've, I've been like, I've been having this discussion with myself, myself to the left and then myself to the right. Well, what do you think? So I'm going <laughs> to ask you this. So for those of us that are clairvoyant, you know, clairsentient, you know, have like a lot of these clairs, you know, those of us that have visions that are seers that, you know, can see, you know, what may possibly present itself in the future um so how much of it is manifesting that what happens and how much of it is 
just project, just seeing it because you know you're an intuitive. You know what I mean? Like you, you can now don't answer it and say it's a little bit of both because you know <laughs> okay. I answer myself that and I'm like, well, <laughs> my my side on the left says it's a little bit of both. What are you talking about? But then I, I really I got to thinking that, and I like to open this up. Um, to you know a, a few others in the group who are um you know fairly knowledgeable also um but i wanted to ask you heidi about this you know do you think it's 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 projection it's it's what you see because you're clairvoyant and then it happens or are you like you know manifesting it internally and then it happens well so that's kind of two different it's the same. So if you're seeing it already, it's obviously already in, in, in your energy and in yeah. your trajectory. It's maybe something that you would have manifested anyway. Okay. Okay. Versus okay. now, okay, I'm going to try and manifest something that I'm not, I'm clairvoyant, but I'm not seeing it. Right. Yet. Right. 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 So, you know, that, I mean, that could be the difference of that, right? One thing is you're seeing something that is going to happen. Right. And if you and if you if you believe your visions right if you if you're not saying yeah. oh well that's just one of eight zillion things that could happen uh -huh. then it's more likely to happen for you right, right. whereas and maybe you st and maybe then if you're clairvoyant and you're you want to manifest i really ha i i keep wanting to say the idea of manifesting a pony but i don't i don't really want to pony, so <laughs> somebody might I don't want to put that out there. <laughs> i think someone Someone wants a pony, I think, but um, yeah, it could be. maybe it's Gloria. I think Gloria wants a pony. But, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, so and then you you put the manifestation process first, and then it comes into your you know your your you know, clairvoyance. Yeah, yeah. Um, can I ask some of you your opinions on that? Um, she said Gloria, so Gloria, I'm gonna <laughs> ask you what is what is your opinion about that question with. Um, you know, being clairvoyant and, and seeing what's going to happen versus manifesting. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. Um, I, I don't really have an opinion about that because my form of manifesting is like my cat manifests. She expects every morning to go in the kitchen and <laughs> the food bowl will be full. So I expect certain things to happen. And so they do. So it's not that I'm manifesting them. I just expect to go in the kitchen and have my food bowl full because I expected it. That's my Got form it. of manifesting. Okay. Okay, so, that's so that would, I expect things that would be to, option three, right? <laughs> just expectation. That's it. Well, that's I mean that we will be covering that in class in a few weeks. The role yeah. of expectation. Yeah, awesome. awesome. And we do have a we do have a question in the chat, Joe. Okay, what do you mean by clairvoyant? Do you want to answer that? You, you're the clairvoyant one. Um, well, okay. So clairvoyant is the ability to see we have other senses. Um, these are our physical senses. And then we have the ability to see, to hear, to smell, to taste, to feel things that are not um, physically, I would say, in front of us. So for example, when I'm, uh, if I say the term clairvoyant, it means to Voyant mean to see. So I am seeing something um, and I could do this with remote viewing. I can see what is going on in another part of the world that I am not in. Um, I could see that. I could see what happens future wise. Um, so in, in two hours, I am seeing I will get a Starbucks coffee. <laughs> I'm kidding because I asked my husband to get one for me. So, <laughs> <laughs> but I can see things. Um, uh, uh, let's see, Benny, does that answer your question? Benny in Dubai, does that answer your question? Yes, it says yes. Perhaps yes. Okay. Yes. Thanks. Yes. Okay. yes, yes so no. yeah. So that's seeing. I mean, clear audience would be hearing. Uh, clear. You know, and and there's. My, I cover a lot of these in in my classes too. So we'll be going through all of that in my class. Actually, I'll probably do a review of these as well on Saturday. So you know, you'll be able to to practice that as well as manifest things. So are there um, any other questions anybody else have or comments? Patty, I know you're just dying. Patty Wallenberg. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> yes. uh -huh. Okay. 
I do, I do actually have a question. When you are visualizing something that you want, how much do you leave open? Like say, and this is one I would probably ask in your class, I want a new job, but I don't necessarily know exactly what that is. You know, I know I want to make money. I know I want to be happy. I know I want to work from home. But there's the other flip side of that request that I may not quite know all of the details. Like, I have no idea what I want to do. Okay. So can you do a visualization where maybe you don't have the full picture? Sure. So I would, to that, I would do something like, okay, um, I have a... I have a new job that, um, and we want to keep it short and I'm just, you know, off the cuff here. So that, that brings you the amount of money that you want that is consistent with, um, fulfillment, enjoyment, mutual benefit, you know, qualities like that. Like, it doesn't sound like so much that you're really caring what the mechanics are of what you're doing more so than I, you know, you want it to be enjoyable. You want it to be fulfilling. You want it to be have integrity, mutual benefit, those sorts of things. So, and, and I would take that one more step um, from my manifesting um, standpoint and the way that, that I would look at it is um, I would just kind of, mentally note, you know, what things bring you joy, you know, does writing bring you joy? Does eating bring you joy? Does traveling bring you joy? Um, you, you know, does, does shopping for clothes, you know, spa, yoga, what brings you joy? And then I would, I would step into those things that bring you joy. And from that, um, I know you're talking about creative visualization, but from the way that I do manifestation, I would step into the emotional part of those things that that bring me joy and sure. give it up to the universe you know and trust right. that i will get exactly what i want well that's the beauty of it right because sometimes you know we can you can only see the contents of your own consciousness so there, if there is yeah. something out there that is like the super number one most fabulous job for you that's right outside your range of normal thinking it might not occur to you right, right. and so there is an element of trust and letting go in this yes. manifestation process as well that your higher self that the universe knows way better has you know a million good ideas for your every one good idea exactly so as long as you're open to right highest we always say highest and best then it will be yeah. And, you know, just on that note, too, it, one of the things that I'm going to talk about on Saturday and my way of manifesting is, you know, I, I kind of did it all. And then I would, you know, to manifest the house that I wanted, but I blocked myself because in my state of what I wanted, I kept saying, well, I don't want to live here. I don't want to live in Altamont. You know, that's not the area I want to go to. So I blocked myself. Yeah. I blocked myself from what now is the highest, the best, the most enjoyable love this place more than anything in Altamont, <laughs> you know, right. because I released my own block, um, you know, so that would be the same with, with your job, Patty, is like, you know, thinking, oh, well, you know, I just don't want to be sitting in my computer. Well, maybe you don't want to be sitting at your computer for eight hours a day, but maybe, you know, four hours a week is okay, you know, so, right. you know, but this, this block thing, you know, of, of me blocking myself and saying, okay, I'm opening up to the universe, but there's no but, <laughs> <That's> <laughs> right. Yeah. right, Heidi, right? Nope. No, there's no but. So when you open up to the universe, you say arms up in the air and you go, yeah, you know, highest and best, like highest and best, you know, and Karen Paolina would teach us our angel classes always says highest and best, better than you can ever imagine. She always adds that in. And I, I found when I started doing that, it's like, whoa, I could not imagine living in the middle of the suburbs with this forest, you know, behind my house. It's just right. like That's just it. You can't imagine it. You have to yes. go beyond what you can imagine, which right. is no man's land, basically. Right. right. And I think you could still do creative visualization because you know, I mean, I, you know, you can you can imagine the joy that you feel in travel, you know, and exploring different places. So 
whoa how what how great that joy is like this energetic connection that you send out this frequency that you send out and so the universe is on that frequency and then the things will like attracts like you know you got that whole rule of attraction thing going on and lo and behold you know you're you're visually creative in a non-specific way you're stepping and it, is that right Heidi is that what you right want? and I just want to add too like some of us are not actually good visualizers you know like oh close your eyes and picture yeah. something right some right. of us are not that good at that for and so for creative visualization it doesn't matter don't don't yeah. don't fret, don't fret if you cannot you know picture the picture the picture of what you want in your mind's eye it don't don't worry about it, it doesn't matter yeah 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 and, and you know it's i think again that that goes back to us trying to be in control of specifics you know like let it go you just right. <laughs> you right. know just really if you can kind of detach from the control element of how much you control it to the letting go part, you know, the trust part that, you know, and step into that, you know, you know, I just, you know, I look up and I see gorgeous trees and, and the sunlight's coming through and it's beautiful. And that's kind of what I stepped into when I detached from the concept of I want a new house, but I don't want to live here. So mm -hmm. this house has everything except a decent bathtub okay, you know? <laughs> but it has i have four pages of things that has everything else that i wrote down on my pages yeah. so except for the bathtub you know it wasn't that important because i kept thinking i could always switch out the bathtub which we're right. doing you know so it's not a big deal but i think if, if, if you visually step into your mind so clairvoyance whether you want to call it that or you want to use that or whatever mm -hmm. you know if you visually step into what what you really and truly want i think i, I think you're spot on you can't help but get it to you again it's that it's the law of attraction it's you know the um the energy you know the the, the energy wave that oh, yeah I mean, it's like what you just said you cannot help to get it to you if you yeah. get your phone and you say i want to go to 123 main street and you plug it in your phone and you trust that those you know you trust that okay this yeah. is this is the way it's going you're going to wind up there you're getting yeah. there yeah, right? yeah, yeah. There's, there's no way you're not getting there yeah absolutely. and it's the same with this you know the same with manifesting and creative visualization you will get there yeah yeah so um our time on the recorded end is done we are okay. going to um sign off on the recorded part and then we're going to open up the conversation to everybody that's on this call if you guys have been on my lovely email list that i'm popping out left and right then you know that just by joining this particular coffee and tea you will also get a coupon for the actual classes and it that goes for my class for this saturday because i talked about that and it goes for heidi's class which is next saturday so heidi have a happy birthday this weekend thank you thank you very much <laughs> and everybody else thank you and stay tuned we're just going to put everybody on pause now thank you for coming for those that are watching the video